Well, welcome into our numbers. Dad's going to give his numbers. I'm going to give my numbers. And Johnny's not here on the couch, so I'm going to give Vomp's numbers uh, for this week. He's in Michigan with mom's uh, mom and her family. So uh, they'll be coming back soon. So we'll have Johnny next week. But uh, for right now, we'll get into our numbers for this week. Um, I'll start out with VO Marketing Pro's numbers, see how you guys did. So um, I got to grab my phone because... I forgot to write something down. But uh, right away off the bat, 55 warm responses this week for the group. And I was telling Dad that that seems, it seems like they're pretty steady. And we, we seem to. We were in the 50s last week. And I yeah, think I mean, the, anywhere from 40 40s, to 50, yeah. 60, it seems like there's, yeah. you know, some yeah. people might say, well, you know, once you get through your list and stuff like that, it'll slow down. And that might be true, but they're still coming in at a regular rate, which is yeah. great. Um, we had 19 auditions. And then we also had nine jobs. Mm. Um, Dad and I had a couple. So I had a recurring and a new client this week. Dad. Mm. Mine are always new. They're always new. How many did you have? Two. Two? Okay. So Dad had four. two new clients. I thought you were holding up four for yourself. No. Um, and then we had Kimberly Young with three. Recurring client. Yep. Greg Campbell. Boom. And Brian De Silva, nice. And that is our nine. Um, so, thanks again for everybody who does a good job of reporting and and being transparent with their stuff. We really appreciate it because it helps us help you out. Yeah, so. and it really encourages the Vomp team members, Hudson and I. It mm -hmm. encourages the folks that watch this. You. It encourages people that aren't part of Vomp. Maybe they're evaluating. Do I want to be a part of Vomp? When they hear numbers like auditions and warm replies and jobs, so because you know, that's very yeah, helpful. Direct yeah. email marketing is kind of a slow burn, mm -hmm. and uh, it it can get lonely, as as you'll hear about my week. Um, yeah. Can I can I just stop for just one stop quick second? Me. Just stop. You know, we we try very hard to be transparent. Um, it's. I, I think somebody mentioned that they're they're very glad mm -hmm. that we're just kind of regular people and we don't <laughs> blow smoke. Um, but we we try to be very transparent, and 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 I'm transparent to the scent with how much I make every week. Lately, it's been a little slow, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't do anything but voiceover. These are voiceover numbers. Hudson, um, he does his journey. And he's trying to make $750 a week. And right now he's above that uh, as we head into October. But here's my point. VO Marketing Pro basically is a couple of years old. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're doing just what you're doing. If you're a, 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 a solopreneur, a, a person that's a, a one-person business person, you're pushing that boulder up the hill. And you know how hard it is. Well, we're doing that too with mm -hmm. VO Marketing Pro. We're a brand new business. And so it, it's tight. I'm just being honest with you. Money is tight. Things can be sometimes difficult and you have to keep having that good mindset. But when you report, that's very helpful mm -hmm. for us. It's helpful for people evaluating whether they're gonna be a part of VO Marketing Pro. And so we're not begging. We're just saying, we're just trying to be transparent that just like you, we're trying to push that proverbial boulder up the hill. And that's one way that you can help us. Yeah. How about that speech? Yeah, I it's all, it's, think about it's it. a tough, yeah, it's a tough, it's a tough grind. So I'll talk about my week yep. and uh, just let people know um, a little bit how it went, obviously, mm -hmm. like I always do. So this week, um, I won't say any numbers right now, but this week was at the start. I mean, probably the slowest week I've had in a long time where Upwork didn't seem to have a lot of good jobs to go mm -hmm. after. I still did whatever I could. If there was something on there for $30, I thought, I've got to find a way. And I wasn't getting anything. Um, so, I, you know, you're sitting there like, what's going on? You know, no direct email clients coming in. Okay, what's going on? Not very many warm responses. No auditions. Um, and, and Fiverr was, was I had... I think I had eight dollars on Wednesday. I had eight dollars <laughs> on Wednesday, and I, Dad and I were talking, and I, you know, I just said, you know, I refuse to get down. You know, I, yeah, it's not much fun to have eight dollars, but uh, I'm just gonna, you know, keep a stiff upper lip and 
keep pushing and do what I can. And at least I can say at the end of the week that I did everything I could to try and make 750. Well, here are my numbers. One warm response, zero auditions. I booked two jobs uh, from direct email marketing. One was last night at 5 p.m. It was an audition I did a couple weeks ago. And they said, hey, just to let you know, uh, the client loved your audition read. And they're going to use that as the final thing. So I didn't, all I had to do is just a, a couple tweaks. They wanted to change a couple words here. But that was 350, something I didn't remember at all. And it came in kind of at the final hour. I know we had some work today and stuff like that. Um, but I, my weeks don't usually go too well at the end of the week. It mm. starts to, you know, you hit Thursday afternoon and you think, well, this is probably about it um, for me. But this week was different and I needed every bit of it. Um, and then this morning, which I knew it was probably coming in this week because they told me it was, I got $125 from a recurring client. Um, they've used me four times now in the last three weeks and that's really helpful. It's, it's nice. Um, and then, er, then I think on Thursday I had a 45 or a $50 job on Upwork and a hundred dollar job on Upwork. That $8 was on Wednesday. Um, and then nothing on voice one, two, three. Um, I did though nine hours of editing for dad this week cause dad was busier. So that's we're looking forward to hearing his numbers. Anyway, all that to say my Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and some of Thursday was really slow. And I thought, you know, all right, that's my, that's kind of my week, but you know, um, the, the direct email marketing came through right at the end and it, and it, those, those emails are out there and those auditions are out there. So, you know, you just forget dad says that you forget things and, and it came in. I wasn't expecting it. And I was, you know, I tried my best not to get too high too, mm -hmm. because, you know, I knew where I was at, you know, I was trying to stay level when I was low, when I was not making anything and to just all of a sudden just be, I was happy, of mm -hmm. course, but I wasn't just, you know, lose my mind happy where you forget that there are low times or you, you have that mindset then where you forget I was, you know, struggling there. So that the next time you have a, a slow week, you can say, yeah, exactly. I've done this before. That's, that's, that's so important. I have two things to say if mm -hmm. I can, and you can comment back on this. Um, can I just, yeah, I, I was just going to say the end of my, <clears throat> my total this oh, week, thank you, sorry, yeah. was $798. And at least uh, 425 of it was 5 p.m. <laughs> Thursday night and today. Never so, know. Yeah. Never just, know when it's going to come in. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. that's so, that's so fun to hear. Um, yeah. I'm, maybe you've heard this before, but I'm in the process of writing a book and it's the seven building blocks to a successful voiceover career. And, uh, and I won't go through all seven, but the first two Hudson is really talking about there because first he's chosen, you might say, well, he's your son, but he's chosen to listen to me as far as this is how you need to run your business. This is what you need to focus on. Um, and, and so he's chosen, uh, not in a mind numbed robotic way, but just in a, I'll listen and I'll apply what you, the principles that you have. But the other thing is, is the second building block. So the first building block is who am I going to listen to? The second building block is mindsets. And you're talking about mindsets. Mm -hmm. Mindsets are so important. And you were fighting that mindset. You, you fought the mindset two ways there. You fought it first in, in scarcity, and then you fought not getting too high when you did get some jobs. Mm -hmm. um, and those are two mindsets that I, I appreciate you bringing out. So I don't know if you have a comment about that, but I have no. something else to ask you. No, go ahead. Ask away. So out of those, out of that $798, what job or jobs were you, would you think <laughs> would be, quote, industry standard jobs, that is a job or two or none that would fall in that, you know, where, where somebody who has rules to say, this is how much you need to charge, GBAA, SAG, yeah. SAG-AFTRA, mm -hmm. gravy for the brain. You can't, mm -hmm. you can't charge less. You're going to hurt the industry and you're going to end up hurting yourself. You can only make hamburger money or beer money or whatever you want to call it. I would have well, only made 350 bucks this week. $350. That's that, what was, I that was $350 for a minute. I think it was a minute 75. Yeah. Oh, yeah. not 75. Yeah. Sorry. A minute 45. Yeah. That might be acceptable. <laughs> uh, 
acceptable. I'm mm-hmm. not really closely familiar with yeah, all of those. Fifty dollars and a hundred dollars. Uh, I did three thirty second commercials on, or two thirty second commercials and a sixty second commercial on Upwork for a hundred bucks. Right. So I, that was way below. Nope. That, that's right, exactly. And that <laughs> Upwork, Fiverr, yeah. Um, anything you did direct marketing that's below mm-hmm. what somebody says is the standard rate, then you would have made half as much, less than half as much this week. Again. Yeah, I'm not going to go. I'm sorry, but I'm can, not going to run my business And people that can way. do that if they want. I'm going to make want. money the way that I can. Right. Exactly. If it's legal, I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah. So. Yep. And you had the time. It's I did. Not like you, yeah. And so where, where else can you make, where else can you make $75 an hour as a 27-year-old year, uh, guy? Where else can you make $100 an hour like you did working in the booth? Well, anyway, enough of that. Let's hear about we're yours. That's we're excited. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I have, I had a, a week where I finally, after, I don't know, four or five weeks of not getting my goal of $6,000 for the week, I made it. Um, but, but just let me be, uh, let me preface it with this last few weeks. I've been a little bit slow between four and $5,000. What did I do? Mindset kept my head, didn't flail. I worked a simple business plan that I've developed. I just kept working it and I tweaked some things. Of course I tweaked some things. Got to, Hmm. uh, I did more up work proposals. I did a few more voices.com auditions and I won two jobs. There you this go. was, this was over the last three weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, I was a little less picky on Fiverr. There's some that I say, oh, I can't work with you or no, I'm not going to do this because you're not willing to do this. But I, I was a little less picky and I was a little more aggressive with some of my clients that I have, I haven't worked with for several months. I just went to them and I just said, Hey, you know, uh, haven't worked t- together. I, I, I haven't done this for years, mm-hmm. but I just thought, you know what? I'm a little bit slow. I'm going to go back. And I did pick up, I got information. I, on, I only got to four because then I started getting busy. Mm-hmm. Um, but I got information from all four and one, I had a job. Now nice. I would have had that job anyway, because it wasn't, it, it was in the hopper, but nevertheless, uh, I did get a $400 yeah. job nice. because of that. So that's what I did when I was slow. I didn't give up. I didn't get discouraged. I didn't start flailing and uh, I, I did tweak some things and that's just something for you to think about. So this week, I, as I said, I had two new clients. I had one Upwork job, it was $90. I had 22 Fiverr jobs. Some of them are just small little ones uh, for, uh, and, and, and this was a week, this week for Fiverr was like it was a few years ago when I was making probably eight to $12,000 a month. Uh, this week in Fiverr, two thousand three hundred sixty-three dollars. Nice. That's good to hear. Uh, my impressions were way up. I think recently they're thirty-one k impressions, so Ouch. I must be on the front page or something. And then direct email marketing. I also had twenty-two projects, four thousand two hundred sixty dollars. So my total was six thousand six hundred twenty-seven dollars. Six. How many projects did you do this week? Uh, I did forty-five. 45 projects. No, I no. did five. Yeah, no, One, I mean, two, three, four, five. Yeah, but the thing is, is I have a, a, a couple of clients that send me volume work. It's yeah. 100 bucks a piece. Uh, I pump it out. You do the editing. It's very short and sweet and hard to beat. And uh, I made $700 just from them wow, nice. this week. So that's big. Uh, over t- over $6,600. So I'm very glad for that. We'll see what next week brings. Yeah. It's always fun and exciting. Yeah. This business of yeah, and being it never an stops. entrepreneur. You just keep, you just, oh, next week, <laughs> yep. zero. Next yeah. week, zero, which, you know, I, which is fun, I know, think. You know what? Yeah, it is. You know, as you get older, though, you, you, you I've told my wife, Becky, this, uh, you get to December 31st, especially if you've you yeah, really worked hard and you get into the end of your career like I am, and you go, oh, 300, Start like again. last year, $331,000. Now, January 1st at midnight, boom, you start over. Zero. It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching our numbers. Um, if you're a voiceover talent and you have questions about our numbers, stuff like that, topics you want us to uh, talk about, you can put them in the uh, comment section below or you can email me at hudsonbarsness at yahoo.com. No spaces or uppercase letters. Um, we do videos like this all the time. If you want to look back at, you know, some of our videos, um, 
of our numbers videos that uh, we've been doing for over a year, for a while. I mean, you started a long while ago. Mm -hmm. um, but in this setting, um, they're in their own playlist and stuff like that. So check those out. Um, give us feedback if you like these videos, if you know there's something you want to see. So, uh, yeah, there it is. Thank you for watching, and uh, take care and good luck next week with your numbers. Hey, did you like that video? Here's some more over here. Maybe you want to subscribe over here. I don't know. It's up to you.